no Jedi. Your power is a weak old man. Always remember. Your focus determines your reality. Hello there. General Kenobi. You don't know the power of the dark side. Hello and welcome back to the Disciples of the Force podcast. We are your hosts, Spencer Silva and Austin Hyatt. We're in a different location. What's up? Yep. If you're watching, you will see <laughs> that Spencer is in a different corner. Uh, that's because he did not bring his laptop and we are working with it. And I think this looks pretty good. I know you can't see it, but it looks pretty good. All right, does it? Yeah. Um, also, dumb boy Spencer was super late. We said 6, 6.47. Yep. You're welcome. I know if you're new here, we announced that we started a media conglomerate. Um, that is now off because I'm done working with Spencer <laughs> because he can't be on time. So that's awesome. It's not he's online. It's real. It's real. I could have been doing my healthcare finance exam oh. um, that whole time. And then I just sat there watching his location. <laughs> oh, oh, I've, had a, I've had a hard week. I've had a hard week. Hey, I've listen. had a hard week. <laughs> All jokes aside, we talked about it. We're fine. It's fine. I just had to make that joke publicly and internally. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I am sorry though. I don't know what my problem is. Hey, well, we love it. We love Spencer, of course. Um, but yeah, welcome. If you're new, um, we've had a lot of growth these past couple of weeks. So we appreciate those newcomers. We appreciate our loyal um, fans from the beginning. So thank you to all. We thank those people who make awesome comments on our pod, on our posts on TikTok. Yeah. Was, do you have some of them? <laughs> what was the one the guy said? Um, oh. <laughs> I'm not woke, but I've always liked the idea of Leia beating Luke or something like that. It's like, how's that woke, you moron? <laughs> and someone else, a couple on YouTube, I didn't show you those. Those are bad. They were like, Dude. there's no way that wo- that weak woman could ever beat Luke Skywalker. And okay, if you know what we're talking about, sorry. We did a what if. Um, it was if Ju- Luke joined Darth Vader. And essentially what happens, just a quick boil down, is that Luke joins Darth, Darth Vader they kill Palpatine. They hunt down Leia and the rebels. They kill Han, and then Leia goes on the run, and she becomes. Then Obi Wan reaches out to her because I don't know if you know this, but the Force still exists, okay? And I don't know, maybe Obi Wan said or Yoda, no, Obi Wan said there is another. Yep. So I'm sorry that somehow in this what if he wouldn't reach out to her. I don't know how that would be so crazy, and that the Force would still balance it out. Yeah, I mean it's not that crazy, but anyway, people are just Star Wars fans are so silly. Boys. because it's like a criteria that you have to either be racist or sexist and then if you call them out they're like no we just like good writing then you give them good writing and it's like okay you're stupid so whatever anyway it's <sighs> not saying that our ai stuff is like good writing like we just we just grind that out you know like yeah. it is good writing uh, we, it, we take time it take a lot that one that one i think hurt the most because you and i had gone back and forth yeah, doing rewrites and i was like this is good this is because what had happened the first time is i we kind of just did a quick one and the next time we bounced right. off and i was like well that one took off because we worked together yeah so this next one if we work together is going to be Look, amazing what i should have said is it is good writing we're not writers yeah so that's, um, fair. that's what i meant we're it's just like, fans with ideas yeah exactly and i guess not good writers yeah, <laughs> i guess not sorry <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, let's hop into news. We didn't do any news last week, but there's a lot of Star Wars news. And, dude, Disney might be kind of coming back, bro. I don't know, They're, like, dude. kicking out some good stuff, and I'm, I'm digging it. super excited. Uh, the Mando and Grogu movie is releasing in May 2026. We finally got a date for that, so that's money. Um, the writer who worked on the One Way Out storyline, that arc, that prison arc in Andor, which is some of our favorite yeah, episodes yeah, in Star Wars. Amazing. He's been hired to work on, um, his name is uh, Bo Willimon. And he's been hired to work on the Dawn of the Jedi movie, which is going to be awesome. Um, so, like like we said, people want good writing, and that's good writing. Yeah, so, we'll see. Um, we finally got another trailer for the new uh, Star Wars Outlaws, I think is what it's called, mm-hmm. the new video game. Yep. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's going to be great. Uh, Tales of the Empire. Huge news. Huge news. So, we've always – we, like, love Tales of the Jedi just because it's like a – it's a short, like bite-sized series that you can get into. You get a lot of insight about these characters yes. that you love. It's awesome. Yeah, think about how much we got of Dooku and yep. Qui Gon. Like, yeah, that was amazing. And so we've talked about like how are they going to continue this? They drop no announcement, just like drop it right on our heads. Mm-hmm. Tales of the Empire. It's going to follow Thrawn, Morgan Elsbeth, <sighs> and uh, General, General Grievous is going to pop up. General Grievous is going to be there. Uh, the big one was we're missing one of them. There's a huge one, isn't there? And there's Darth Vader is going to be there. The Inquisitors, but yeah, Thrawn. 
Morgan Elsbeth. We're missing one. We're missing one. Aren't <laughs> we're we? missing one. I feel like we're missing a big one. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll, I'll put the trailer on. Down yeah, here. look at that. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that's huge news. Uh, let's see. There was one other thing. Guys, I'm sorry. We've for talked being about late. the acolyte I'm sorry for being late. Go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. Shut up. <laughs> We've talked about the acolyte trailer, right? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Yeah. We have. So yeah. acolytes coming out in June. So uh, uh, the Bad Batch is ending May first, five oh one, right? May first. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a golf tournament May third. No big deal. You don't have to come. Um, May fourth uh, is when Tales of the Empire is dropping, and then in June we're getting the Acolyte. And then they're still thinking that Andor is going to come out later this year. Really? Yeah. Oh, and shit. I wouldn't honestly be surprised. Ask me three weeks ago, I'd say no way. But now, like with Disney kind of just dropping stuff They're on cooking. us without announcements, it's great. So it's because we we joked about it, but Dune, dude, Dune is so fire and heat mm-hmm. right now. They got to compete. Mm-hmm. They got to. Um, also, okay, sorry, keep going. The it's the I forget her name. It's the Jedi that turned evil in yeah. Clone Wars. Green Jedi. Some of the B, isn't it? Barisafi. That's the one. Yeah, I'm glad you said the one with the B because I was like, dude, if we're gonna do another <laughs> segment where we don't know names. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be really exciting. That's going to be a really cool storyline. I can't believe I yeah. forgot about that. Um, that's going to be great. Uh, what was I going to say? Right I don't know. That? Sorry, I did, I did cut no, you off. No, you're that. totally fine. You were going to say something. Anyway, it seemed like it was going to be good. No, it's all good. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we can get into The Bad Batch. The Bad Batch. Boop. Boom. Um, real quick, I found something out. So I'm watching Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Okay. There is a guy in there. It's called the, there's a family called the Boyle family. They might perhaps be the grossest individuals I've ever seen in my life. Do they have boils? No, but they might as well, dude. They are disgusting. And here's the, here's is what, this racially motivated? Because I don't want I want to stop you right. Okay, they're, they're whites. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> and this is the one thing I don't like about Always Sunny is how there's just like episodes like that's so gross. Like their apartment is just disgusting. Okay. And I'm like, Ugh. anyway, this guy right here, I'm going to show you because I can. Listeners, I apologize. Even viewers. <laughs> Even viewers, you can't see. See that guy on the far left? In the row? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Super gross. That dude voices Hemlock. Really? Very dark and like mysterious voice. Really? Is that dude. Who That's is, crazy. I'll, I'll send you later. I Sorry for the listeners and viewers. Look him up. I didn't know his name, but look him up. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at it right now. He's uh, disgusting, and when I found that, I was like, because Hemlock is so cool, and it's that yeah. dude, I'm like, yuck. He's an actor, so I guess I can't really be that mean to him. That's one. really interesting, huh? Yeah. That was what I wanted to dude, say. Dude, shouts out to voice actors. I mean, come on. Can I, oh, J- Jimmy Simpson. Jimmy Simpson. You, J-I-M-M-I is how you spell your name. Dude, okay, sorry. Oh, huge man. news. It's huge news. Heartbreaking news. <laughs> this is honestly, this sounds so stupid. Um, O.J. Simpson passed away today. Uh, people are like, yeah, he's going to hell, whatever. He killed his wife. He didn't. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I don't know if I want to go on record. <laughs> yeah, I but say. I've had this weird fascination that started off as a joke, but it's kind of like become something real. So much so that Grace, my wife, texts me today and says, sorry for your loss. I go, what the hell? <laughs> my sister texts me no and says, hey, OJ Simpson died. You text me and say, sorry, Austin, OJ Simpson died. I was like, holy shit. Like, have I put on this persona long enough that people think I, you... my gamer tag on, if you ever want to play with us on Call of Duty is OJ Simpson lover. Um, OJ underscore Simpson underscore L-U-V-R. Come on and friend me. Um, but uh, yeah, so rest in peace or rest in hell. I don't know. Whatever. It Whatever. Is. But, but yeah. What you can't deny, man, is he's a one-time, all, uh, he's a one-time MVP, 2,000-yard rushing season. Uh, five Pro Bowls, I think, and a great actor. So I mean, you and know. a wife killer, <laughs> <laughs> and a wife killer. And, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, did he do it? Can you separate the art from the artist? You know. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's not Star Wars related at all. Your your job, the job you're implying for is like, oh, we're on the fence about this guy. <laughs> Let's just this episode. Google him and they find this episode. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. If you're hiring, um, that shouldn't reflect my performance. <laughs> In fact, it should motivate me to work harder. <laughs> In his memory. So, uh, anyway, let's get on to the Bad Batch, shall we? Yeah. Juggernaut. That's the name of the app. Uh, 
episode started off with some dark weather, which we've been seeing. Everything's been getting a little bit darker yeah. in the beginning, which is kind of alluding, I would presume, that it's yep. getting it's going getting, to be some hard times coming up. I mean, it is. So Omega has just been taken, so it's not good. Yeah. Dude, speaking of darkness, so I sent you a, a news article, and it was kind of stupid because it was like, these next few episodes are the darkest we've seen of The Bad Batch. The planet they go to to get Rampart, I'm jumping ahead. It's called Erebus. Mm. Erebus in Greek mythology is the god of darkness. Oh. So, like, it's yeah, literally yeah. getting darker, but they're also that's alluding to it. It's kind of disappointed, though, because uh, the planet's not, like, dark all that dark. Yeah. Anyway. That's cool, though. I didn't know that. Just a little tidbit for you. How did you, you know that off the top of your head? I didn't. I was like, Erebus, that's Greek, mm. obviously. Because um, I was doing some research the other day. Can I Can I tell you something stupid? Sure. I got. I have this, like, autistic, maybe not autistic. If you're an autistic listener, shouts out. We love you. We're all on the spectrum. It's a spectrum. Yes, brother. <laughs> Check Tuesday. <laughs> uh, but I have like a linguistics thing. So I was thinking the other day, I was like, the plural of cactus is cacti mm-hmm. because it's Latin. So you adopt the Latin plural, which is an I. Mm. Okay. But octopus is not Latin. But people, because I saw a TikTok where this chick kept calling octopuses mm. octopi. And I was like, that's not right. And I was like, why isn't that right? I looked it up. Anyway, if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna make octopus plural, you either use the anglicized version, which you should, which is octopuses, or you can say octopodes, which is the plural in Greek, but you cannot say octopi because it's not Latin. Yeah. Oh. I Where was I going with that? Anyway, that was like a day before I saw this. So I was like on that Greek mm, ending kick. Gotcha. And I was like that and anyway. Listen, when this takes off, Austin and I are going to go take classes and become, what's the, what would be that? Ling- linguist? Yeah, we're going to be linguists. That'd be sick. It's going to be sick. That stuff is so fascinating. Yeah. It is. It, dude, it is. I love you telling me that because now I got that in my brain. Dude, you know, uh, anyway, we'll talk about that off screen. Uh, New podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, yes, starts off dark. Um, I love the way that Hemlock refers to uh, Nala Say as the Kaminoan. Um maybe it's not that big of a detail, but like the empire is notoriously like uh, human centric. They hate like aliens. They don't mm-hmm. employ any aliens. Um, so like when he says I've the Kaminoan spitefully, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when he says the Kaminoan like spitefully, I'm like, Oh, maybe he's just like full empire. Doesn't like yeah. aliens, you know, hmm. it's a little tidbit. That's cool. Maybe I, that's I leading nowhere. That. Sorry. That's um, cool. go ahead. Um, I think I have this miss quote it. <laughs> i remember <laughs> she said i'm glad you're safe that's what emory says to omega and omega says am i like am i actually safe mm. i'm here with the empire yeah I was like that was really cool yeah you guys don't know if you're just listening but that was a train wreck <laughs> <laughs> um okay my next thing we've talked about this before uh i forgot about admiral rampart yeah same I, I when they mentioned that i was like why is he not a part of the empire anymore? Why can I not remember any of this? Recaps, and, bro. Seriously, we need recaps. Um, he is a very memorable character, and I loved him in season one. I genuinely can't remember what happened to have him in an imperial prison camp. I'll let you know because I didn't know either. He is one who told them that they should bomb Camino. Oh, okay. And they totally destroy it, right? Then everyone finds out, and they people are freaking out. Like, you guys just bombed a whole planet, and right? They, so the emperor said, "Oh." It was actually his idea. Oh, okay, they put it so on him he and took he went the, to prison. That makes sense. Okay, I'm yeah. vaguely remembering that. But yeah, yeah I mean, uh, don't bring back such an awesome character without like any. It's um, been but, years. Yeah, it's been years. You can't expect us to just remember yeah. that. Well, and so that actually brings up to a point I wrote down here that I saw a TikTok about someone saying, I hate recaps. Because sometimes they totally spoil it. I'm like, that is true. That's true. If they would have done a recap of him, you'd be like, okay, well, he's in the, he's episode. In the episode. But it's also like, it's not that big of like a, oh, whoa. You know what I mean? You could also do it tastefully and kind of shield it, like show a storyline. Like that whole bombing of Cam- Camino. Just show that. And then you don't know directly that Rampart's going to be in. True. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you could have the, the dialogue of talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then boom. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but he is really cool. And also, before that had happened, before we saw Rampart. Right. First off, I always think that he's Clovis from the Clone Wars. He's not. They don't even look the same. But in my mind, okay. somehow I connect those two. They don't look the same. They're not the same at all. But anyway. Same like dirtbag energy guy. I guess same yeah. dirtbag. Um, also, I like this pencil in my hands. My new thing. 
it's so <laughs> weird that Crosshair and Fee did not meet till that moment. Like, yeah, th- this all of this has been going on, and, yeah. they, and like it just kind of reminds you of how long he really has been gone. Yeah, that, and that's a great point. That leads me to my next question: um, Is it canon that uh, Tech and Fee banged? <laughs> and I mean, it seems pretty heavily implied, but when she's like, "Any friend of Brown Eyes is a friend of mine," yeah, it's like they banged. They had to have. That I mean, sweet boy. Dude, I, I remember when that romance was going on. We were talking about it. We can go back to the episodes. We were getting like hot and heavy. Like we were we were bought in, dude. Bought and sold. And they ripped him away. Yeah. And I'm glad. I'm glad too. And that, that adds to it a lot. But yeah. uh I I'll tell you what, I keep thinking about this. If they freaking bring back tech, I will I will lose my dude, I won't do the podcast. I will boycott. They're it. going to. Because keep, listen. No. They they've mentioned him in every episode. They mentioned him clearly today when uh Fee comes back, Fee Genoa. And then like on TikTok they released a a video of the voice actors from the Bad Batch talking about their favorite moments. The first 3 were talking about tech. Yeah. And, like all the comments are like they're talking about tech, 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 I whatever. And so, I hope I hope it's just them making us think that and they don't. I would love that, yeah. That would be way better. Give me more of that Star Wars like fake out, fake me out. But I feel like I feel like Dave has to know that death doesn't mean anything in Star Wars right now, mm-hmm. because of how many people have. So he, he did it himself with Sabine. She got stabbed and didn't die. Uh, Palpatine didn't technically die. Even that's the whole thing with clones, whatever. But it feels like that. Yeah. And there's we just countless. You go on with people getting stabbed and nothing happens. Falling deaths. Yes. Yeah. Darth Maul didn't die. Well, dude, no, that's a great point because. Uh... Like Satine, a character that he wrote and developed, that's one of like the most impactful deaths oh, in yeah. animation that we see. You know, and then there's Kanan also, mm, yeah. a death that paid off completely. And it's like he knows the formula to get us there. Like those are some episodes that you do not forget. And like, so he maybe, maybe hopefully he gets it. You yeah. Know, I don't know. Well, also I didn't know this. This is a side step with Rebels. Um, when Ahsoka came out and they had the picture of Kanan, you might have said this to me, but I totally forgot that it was actually. The guy who voices Kanan. Yeah, Freddy, whatever. Yeah, with the guy from Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, forget that. that was the second episode we mentioned live action Scooby Doo in a row. <laughs> but no, yeah, his name is Freddy, and that that's the only reason I remember his name is Fred in real life. Yeah. You know, he married Daphne, the girl from the... yeah from Scooby Doo. I don't remember what she was. I do remember Velma because I've always had a crush on the girl that played Velma. Oh man, she's, she's in holy Freaks cow, and, Geeks, and she's in Dead to Me. She's a bunch of stuff. I love her. Dude, they really fooled me when I was a kid. I've watched that Scooby-Doo movie probably like a billion times. Yeah. The one where they're on the island. I can't remember what it's called. Mm-hmm. Freddie Prince Jr. is his name. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Sorry, that just came out. <laughs> but I always thought Velma was like unattractive, whatever, because I was used to the cartoon. Mm-hmm. And in my adult years, I'm like, bro. Jeez. <laughs> Holy cow. She always has been. Yeah, she's been a smoke <laughs> show the whole time. Uh, uh, okay. What are we talking about? <laughs> Yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> um, I have one more thing, but I'm going to look up the name of this thing real quick. Okay. Um, I did see, and I, I watched Screen Crush's uh, video on this, but they had mentioned this as well, but they showed it more in light. But when I was, I was watching this episode, I'm like, this reminds me of that Mandalorian episode with Bill Burr. Yep. That's yeah. exactly. So this episode is called Juggernaut. Mm. The ground transport that Wrecker calls a turbo tank mm-hmm. is called a Juggernaut. Okay. Um, don't know what that, I mean, there's probably other meanings of juggernaut in this episode. I I can't think of one off the top of my head, but that's, it reminded me of that Mandalorian episode too, because the same ground transport. I mean, it's like they played side by side of it. I was like, oh my goodness, there's a lot. Yeah. I don't know why they did that, but. It's so weird. They're pulling so much from the Mandalorian. It's whatever, but I think, I don't know. Anyway. I wonder if, I wonder if Dave's just subconsciously doing that without realizing that. Maybe. Probably. Because I wonder what they say. He's like, oh shit. Yeah, I did do that, but this one was like pretty on like when they're jumping on the tank, yeah. similar thing when they're coming up and then the breaking somebody out. They had a breakout rampart and uh, Grogu, wasn't it? Didn't Grogu captured at this? Yes. Point? Somebody, what, were, what were they getting out? I don't know. They're breaking what? something out. Yeah, regardless, same exact. Like almost yeah. like they. I'll show you the clip. I was like, that's okay, insane. Show me. I'll do it right now, and no one can see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. but yeah, great stuff. I mean. It's fine if they're repeating stuff. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, I do care, but it's whatever. You, you can only expect so much. But anyway, it's still oh. working for me. Go ahead. But I do wonder if he did do it on purpose because these both are with cloning, right? 
Well, yeah, this is the second week in a row that we've talked about the similarities to yeah, Mandalorian. So, so it's like similar parallel storylines. So it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, history repeats itself. That's just how it goes. Same thing that white people did with rock and roll. Elvis did with. That's true. <laughs> I can't mess up the line. It's Jake all day. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, it's it's like poetry. It rhymes, you know. Toot. George. Jo- George gave us the formula, bro. <laughs> Um, but that juggernaut tank, the turbo tank thing, mm-hmm. one of my coolest, like one of my favorite Star Wars vehicles. That's cool. That thing I want sweet. a Lego set of that. I was, I was about to look up if, if you can get one. I'll make one for you, please. <laughs> um, I actually, one part that I, I gig, I giggle sometimes in episodes, but I wrote it down cause it made me laugh was when they're in that, uh, juggernaut, he record goes, <laughs> Wait, did you, sorry, did you just, did you just say juggernaut? <laughs> like, I was really hoping I said it and I was like. I just said nog. I'm used to Call of Duty zombies. zombies. That's it's what whatever. It's, it's cool. Juggernaut. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so silly. Anyways, yeah, uh, when they're in there, Wrecker, who is it? Oh, it's Crosshair asks Wrecker, do you remember Plan fi- uh, 55? And Wrecker's like, uh, oh, yeah, 55. And then I, he, what is it there? Waiting on you. Just, oh, shit, I can't remember now. He goes, oh, yeah, 55. And he sits there for a second. Okay, yeah, yeah. Waiting on you. He's like staring at him. He's like, oh, yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that because I always think it's kind of tropey when they're like, plan whatever. And then they all just know it. And it shows that it's been years since right. they've had to like execute like that. Um, you know, so I loved it. I thought it was great. It made me giggle. I was like, so funny. Um, but that's a good point that is like shows how yeah. guys like they, they're not bulletproof. Right. Uh, Turbo Tank Lego is only $725. So, <laughs> Jeez, how big is it? It's not that big, but it's like discontinued, you know. Oh. So. so they made this from The Mandalorian. This one is from the Clone Wars, so oh, even so this cooler. Been a while, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, okay. Oh, this is like a weird comment, but I was watching it on my laptop at work. Not at work, if you're listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, we'll give him a chance. To do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I had my headphones on, my uh, AirPod Pros, Flex. and well, I, I say that because <laughs> they have spatial audio. And I don't know if it was just because I had those headphones in, but there's this really cool scene on the bridge where um, Hunter and Crosshair are in the foreground and Wrecker's in the background. And Wrecker says something and the distance that you can hear is very cool. You can like, like hear it. He's just like a meter or two back, but the sound is very different. Oh, so then I can cool. watch. I'll, I'll show you the scene later so yeah. you can get a feel for it. But that's sweet. I just had a note here. I don't know. If you watch that and notice that, let us know. Um, that's cool. I watch on my iPad, so it's all the same sound. Same, same thing. <laughs> um, I like the you're not in a position to bargain that Crosshair oh. is saying to Rampart. I feel like that's a callback to something else. It's definitely a callback to other media. I don't mm-hmm. know if it was said in this show, but very cool. Um, I loved that bridge fight. Yeah. I was one of the scenes I was like, maybe stop what I was doing. wasn't my job, I'll tell you that much. Stop yeah. What I was doing. We don't watch this stuff at work, okay? <laughs> and I was watching, I was like, oh my goodness. Like I was just totally like taken in by it all. And- the missiles that come out, I love that. Oh, dude, so cool. I was like, reminded me of Iron Man, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's just, is that how they look in real life? Because that's how they look in Call of Duty Warzone. Is that how those missiles look? I wouldn't know. I mean, I thought, those I are would, flares in Warzone. Flares, that's what they are. Flares. So this is something different. I don't know. I don't know. It still looks sick. Yeah. But because I'm pretty sure when Iron Man, when he kicks up his little side ones. No, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't Yeah. I'm assuming that's what it is, but maybe it's just sci fi that that's why they make it look that way. But it's I think cool. it's just sci fi. It's cool, though. Yeah. But it, very cool. Uh, yeah, just a great visual episode. I don't really have anything else um, um, except for when Hemlock takes uh, Omega down to the other like Jedi kids. Mm. I was like, oh my gosh, four sensitive kids. They're not Jedi kids. I was like, geez, that's hardcore. Did you see people getting mad on our TikTok about that? No. They're like, I don't think it was an attack on Rey because I clipped the oh, yeah. mid clones don't make you a Jedi, which is true. Right. It like, doesn't make you a Jedi. And some people are like, well, I don't know. You have to read them. I was like, I'll read them. you guys are silly. But it's giving us good exposures. I don't really care. Hey, man, keep commenting. Keep keep seeing your hate, video. Um, one part I was going to say is like what I wish would have happened is you know how Wrecker is running and he jumps to get on when they're – Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember when you called me out for saying Jack and I literally my head just – That's why I stopped myself from saying it. <laughs> anyway, when he's stuck, right? Um, a cool thing about it is he is afraid of heights, so he had to kind of conquer his Yes, fear. yeah. That was a big thing. But one thing that I was thinking is like I wish it actually was – was so that wrecker would have been on this thing and maybe cr- crosshair was stuck. The uh-huh. reason why I'd want that is because if you remember, 
what happened with Tech when he died, his record was trying to get to him and he couldn't. And Tech fell. He's like, when do we have our followers? And shoots in and goes. Right. It, like, it would have been kind of a small little redemption, kind of going back to Spider-Man and uh, No Way Home. Okay. Where uh, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, is able to save uh, MJ. Zendaya. Zendaya. Yeah, Zendaya MJ, yeah. <clears throat> um, I was like, that would have been a cool little thing to like give Wrecker a little like win. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. And especially with all the beef that they've had with Crosshair, I feel like it would have built it. But also, I guess him, the heights thing is kind of cool. But I think it could that been, is cool. I could have been better. Yeah. And for me, I'm not right. I'm not a writer, so my friend. Oh, no, I'm Sorry, I did. I'm joking. <laughs> no, but no, that would have added a richer element. But yeah. you know, again, I don't know what the state of Star Wars is. I mean, I, I was praising how uh, positive <laughs> it is, but like, yeah, maybe it's whatever. But yeah. Um, Okay, so I do want to point out this point. This isn't my. This didn't come from me. What I'm about to say, but I think you would you would like what Ryan Erie had to say. Um, okay, I haven't been watching him at all because I'm like I don't want to be. But lifting. dude, the last episode, I, did you ever watch? You didn't watch that, uh, one? Uh, dude. You and him. I'm like Austin said all these points. Really? Like, can't think of any of them, but I was like, that's sick. That's why I haven't been because I love hearing that from yeah. you, and I don't want to like taint that. That's fine. Watch them later, I guess. But okay. you were like, ah, there's, I, I'll write them down. There's like four or five. I'm like Austin said that. Austin sick. Said that. Um, but he made a really good point. He said, "I kind of wish we didn't know the children were locked in there." Yes. Because he's like, it would have been made such like because we already knew where she was going. It was like, oh yeah, we already know what's happening. She's gonna go down to the lair and see the kids, and she's gonna be like, what is this? But if we didn't know. And they held off this whole point and then brought her to that point and ended the episode. We'd be like, oh, dude, I literally I agree with that completely because mm-hmm. I I thought he was taking her somewhere else. OK, like I was like, oh, it's another vault mm-hmm. with the same ray shields. That's kind of weird because mm-hmm. the way it was built up mm-hmm. like it, it uh, obviously it was a reveal to Omega. And that's right. important. Yeah, but like they like played it. it like it was also a reveal to us. And I was like, why are they doing this? Um, but yeah, it would have meant a lot more. Also, like. To see, oh man, it would have been really cool if they didn't show it at all. Mm. And we just see that same episode of like uh, Emery's apprehension about everything. Mm. And we're like, why is she so oh, apprehensive? It's all mysterious. You know? I have no idea. And then it oh. plays out. And then the stakes are really high because Omega's stuck there. And that's when we're finding out about it. And we're oh, like, oh my yeah. gosh, that would have been sick. That would have been really good. Because yeah. you would have been like, what is in this thing? Yeah. Shoot. Ah, you should write. You are a writer. What are you talking about? Well, come on, let's write. <laughs> Um. Okay, my last thing I have. This is a prediction I have. This is this is this is just spitty predictions. Okay. Um, for the end of this the series, right? Which I keep getting sad because I watch people keep posting like we're gonna on the fifth first we're gonna lose all Clone Wars. Like, bums oh bad. sh. No, well, okay. I think they'll hopefully they'll keep making more. I don't. I mean, the, the, at, to the this fact point, that though, they're yeah, that's true. The fact that they're still doing like Tales of the Empire out of nowhere in the true. Clone Wars animation. Like, they know what's bringing in money. Like, right. they might extend some more of this. But I kind of hope they don't. You know, like, we can have closure on a story like that. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It would be cool to just totally end the chapter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, my prediction, though, I got to read it real quick because I <laughs> forgot what it was. Okay. Um, I think that the Bad Batch are going to destroy that facility um, where Omega's at. Okay. I think they're going to obliterate it. I think that's what's going to happen because we don't have, right, cause we, for the original trilogy, there's no... Nothing's happening with the cloning, right? They have right. to pick it back up after with the Mandalorian. Wow, that's a great point. So I yeah. feel like they're going to have to lose it. Like they had all this built up, they got to a point, and then boom, they're going to get hit. Yeah, and there's no reference of Tantus and the Mandalorian. Right. Like that that facility presumably is inaccessible, you know? So I think that's a great point. And that would be a great ending too, like if they go down as a sacrifice. And that's destroying. exactly what I was going to say. Is oh. I, I, I kind of want it to be like, Back is against the wall, you know, they're coming in and they're yep. like, this is it. We just got to end it. And they blow up the facility with themselves in it. That Omega 2 and the kids. It'd be sad, but it, it, it fits. It, it just, it cleans up the story to just go into I love the that. original trilogy. I goes into why kids, there's no cloning yeah. going on because they lost all of the progress they had. Right. <sighs> but you know, Man, I hope you're right. That'd be awesome. You're right. Hey. Sorry for calling you a bad, <laughs> shitty writer. You're great. Well, that's, that's what I do, <laughs> dude. I don't know if our, I don't know if my boy Tim still listens. He's a big writer. Like he's a right. he graduated in writing. He's oh, an really? English teacher at Weber State now. Oh wow, but, Tim, uh, give us some scripts. He's we'll... got his own pod. I'll I'll get the name of it and I'll shout it out next time. But uh, he talks Star Wars too. But anyway, should link up with him. See if we're like on the right path. You know. Sweet. Anyway, that'd be sweet, dude. Let me tell you. Let me tell you my this sure. say I had last night. Sure. 
I was, I do, first off, I'm editing that what if video I was telling you about. Yeah. Check on our YouTube channel. We'll be dropping a what if uh, Qui Gon didn't die um, because of the slideshows we made. Mm-hmm. Uh, awesome video, by the way. Looks great. It's making me want to die because it's like j- trying to find, because like there's so, like, so many clips you can find, but then you're like, I thought it was right here. Yeah. It's not. This was like digging through. Okay. It's crazy though. Asking, I uh, use co pilot. I'm like, is there a scene where uh, Ventress jumps down from day to day? And they go, yes, in this scene, she jumps. I'm like, no way. Sometimes it's wrong, but sometimes I'm like, well, that's exactly what I was thinking of in a new Damn. episode. That's crazy. crazy. Anyway, that's making me want to die. It's almost finished, like two more minutes left, but it's like, it's going to take me a bit. Right. Why am I talking about? <laughs> Writing. Something, <laughs> your fantasy from last night. Oh, is that these blow up <laughs> on our okay. channel and we make. And this is, this is guys I can dream. Just don't yell at me. Anyways, it blows up. We get to like, we start making a lot of money off of it. Right. Mm-hmm. And then star Wars is like, Oh, these guys are doing pretty good. Cause they grabbed that one guy with the CGI thing. Remember? It's true. And they say, Hey, do you want to write an episode for our, what if series of star Wars? That would be the coolest thing to happen. That'd be, be awesome. You, fly out, go see Dave Filoni, oh, write it. Come on. That'd be sick. We is it going to happen? Probably not. But it'd be cool. Probably not. We need to invest in our hard skills though. Because, like, I'm thinking Star Wars Theory. What's hard skills? Um, like, like tangible skills that we can say, like, hey, I'm actually a credentialed writer. Oh, like, yeah. That That's even more reason. Because, like, anyway, I'm thinking Star Wars Theory, who has done a lot for Star Wars and makes his own stuff. Like, to my knowledge, he's never been, like, recruited by Star mm-hmm. Wars, even though he makes cool stories about he makes it. really good stories. And I'm like... We'd have to be performing above that, or we needed some other leverage, like get, you know, anyway. get someone who's a good writer and just bring them in. Yeah, Tim, you're recruited. Yeah, if you had some what ifs, honestly, if anyone has what ifs, pass them away. We love them. Yeah, we really just need a sentence or two, and then we can run with it. Yeah, honestly. So whatever you think, I did think of one the other today. Give me one second. Also, Go while ahead. he's looking for that, let us know what what content you kind of like. Um, our what if videos have been doing really well, so that's why we've been pushing them out. Um, but if you like our podcast clips or or whatever, we can push more of that out too. It's just whatever yeah. the pe- the fans are digging. That's all we want. We just want to get you guys what you want. Mm-hmm. And I tried a new formula with ours doing split, going our sure. faces going to it. It did about the same. Okay. So I don't know. Anyway, my what if I was thinking of is what if Anakin like listened to Wind or let Windu kill Palpatine? Yeah. Because I wonder, I feel like there's a lot. Because he's building up, he's kind of like, oh, I don't want people dying. That's why he doesn't do it. Because he's like, I can save the ones you love. Right. So it's like, does that harbor with inside of him as they go on? Like, oh, we killed the Sith Lord, but inside he's like, oh, but what if Padme still dies? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I wonder. What um, if? <laughs> what if? Well, because the Force would correct itself, right? Because then there's not a balance right. if there's no Sith. So does Anakin still fall? Does Padme still die? Does the Force still? will it so that she dies and he still is sent that way i don't know i think so because my initial thought was like oh well she wouldn't die because part of the reason she died is because of his anger like he mm-hmm. killed her and she died of a broken heart whatever and being forced choked and shit like that and childbirth all that stuff um broken heart broken heart yeah i'm like <laughs> yeah uh, so like she doesn't die of a broken heart anymore so what what happens you know but could be a fun one we'll see we'll, comment what you think about yeah it. yeah seriously so but that's really all I had for the episode. What's your prediction for the end of the Bad Batch? It's uh, I'm going to steal yours. Seriously. Yeah, yeah think... because they're going to Tantus. There's what? What week is it? There's just like four weeks left, huh? Yeah. My buddy Banta. I went to see a movie with him last night. Just he and I. Just a little date. Cute. Um, But he was like, dude, I thought this week's episode of the Bad Batch was the last one. I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> I was like, oh. That would suck. If that was the end. <laughs> oh, he thought that just He ended. thought this just ended. Well, well, like going in. And so he's like 20 minutes oh, in and he's like, like What's gonna happen? this can't be the last episode. That would be. Anyway. That would suck if that was it. So yeah, we'll we'll see where it goes. Um, got a few more weeks, four-ish more weeks, right? And I'll pick Three-ish. Up with the uh, Tales of the, the um, uh, Emperor. Emperor. Tales of the Empire. Empire. Hopefully, does this sound like they're dropping all of them, right? Yeah. Do you want to do one by one when they come out and give us more contact to push? Let's do that. Because then it'll probably... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Sorry to our listeners. That probably hurt. Then that will probably get us all the way to the acolyte. Yeah. So. So. Cool. Okay. Hey, right. well, thank, thank you, you for, for being, being a, a disciple. <laughs> I was going to say bad friend. I was going to oh, say bad friend. Okay. Thank you for being a disciple of force. <laughs> <laughs>